Hello. I'm Adam, the learning coach. I'm the piano teacher you wish you'd had the first time. This is how to write a song in 30 years. And today we're gonna to talk about dedicated to S and G. This song, I kind of like this song. Um, I was watching Simon and Garfunkel's reunion concert. They've had many reunions since, but this one was a big deal. I believe it was their first reunion in Central Park. It's a, a movie video. Uh, you know, it's a, a concert film and they got back together and I was all excited to watch it. And I watched it and I was actually kind of disappointed, maybe even a little horrified by what I saw. It just didn't feel right. It felt kind of awkward. Um, I don't know, you know, I mean, it felt that there was some animosity going on. Of course, Simon and Garfunkel have long had this kind of love-hate on and off again relationship, so it was nothing new. But for me, at age, I guess I was 19 or 20, it was a bit of a shocker. Um, and I was inspired to write this song in the style of Simon and Garfunkel. And uh, I believe I played the guitar myself on this one. Again, I was sort of proud of myself for pulling it off. It's uh, a little bit harder than my usual basic guitar parts. And I did a Simon and Garfunkel-y type um, harmony. Um, and I tried to, you know, imitate the two qualities of the two voices as best I could. And it came out pretty good. Um, I named it Dedicated to s and because I was afraid <laughs> they were going to find out that I had done this song. I thought Simon and Garfunkel might be mad at me. I thought they might sue. And so I <laughs> cleverly hid this ridiculous clone of a Simon and Garfunkel song <laughs> under the name dedicated to s and Is there a lesson here in this song? Um, I guess if there's a lesson, it is that sometimes, you know, you can directly parody a song that you like for good effect. In this case, I was directly parodying Simon and Garfunkel's sound because I was commenting on them. This wasn't just a pretend Simon and Garfunkel song, and it wasn't just a comment on them. It was a combination of both. So you can use parody to take it to the next level, so to speak, and that's what I did here. Um, I'm curious to know what you think. Give it a listen. Uh, I'm interested to hear your comments. And uh, as always, um, if I can be of assistance to you, contact me at a abetterpianoteacher.com. I'm Adam, and I'm always trying to be a better piano teacher. There they stood, all dressed up like pretty puppets on a string. Listening and watching how their eyes would stray across the crowded park Above the people focused oh so far away On something only they could see beyond the dark His body would Poor Arthur tried to catch the feeling But the swaying wasn't coming to his hips And Mr. S's smile confessed that he'd be leaving soon They both had business the next day There was no more well hidden beyond the clouds that scraped the buildings around that artificial dream that great reunion that it seemed so easy then again it wasn't us who had to face the lights and try and make the feeling come out right no matter when there they stood a gentle shadow of the pair they used to be you couldn't blame them God will make the things of fantasy But then they brought it on themselves Being famous and all that You know they owe just one more concert Maybe two Maybe three I don't know But when I saw them standing up there Playing songs like they was candy All that I saw was their eyes Focused on the same goodbyes They'd been singing for a decade Suddenly I understood what it was to be afraid to have the world rely upon you to relieve its misery with a concert that was never meant to be.